As President Obama laid out his plan, dozens of people gathered in Langley Park to examine how it could impact them and their families. Hatzel Vela joins us now with their reactions. Hatzel? Lee and I can tell you that when I was in this room earlier, it had more people than what you see now, and everybody's eyes were fixated on that big TV screen because everybody was paying close attention to what the president say, and said. rather. And I can tell you by the end of the speech, most people went home satisfied. I, I, I'm here because most Americans agree. Carefully paying close attention to every word he said. Yeah. Clapping was the way this crowd showed its satisfaction. Antonio Chavez was one of dozens in the crowd. The father of two, originally from El Salvador, has been here 24 years. We talked to him before the speech. I think it's time the president signing the immigrant reform. We are hoping that President Obama makes a positive gives a positive message. Before the president took to the podium, we also talked to Ricardo Campos. Enough is enough. We need a fair and immediate path to citizenship for more than 11 million of families. Families that are, are just like any other American typical family. Campos saw a bipartisan group of senators address the issue yesterday. He thought it was bittersweet because senators were not clear enough. So he was hoping the president would spell out a plan. My Fair to say the crowd was pleased with what it heard. <laughs> Chavez hopes despite differences in ideas, immigration reform moves forward. Democrat and Republican, they are talking together. They are going to be agreed about their, their reform. Campos says the message was clear. These are families, these are Americans who deserve an opportunity in this country to serve like any other American. This is the country of immigrants. And Leon, at the end of the day, these people realize that the president is a politician, so they're hoping that he follows through with his promises from this speech. Reporting live in Hyattsville, Hatsovella, ABC 7 News. Okay.